everyone and welcome to your daily tower reading for Wednesday the 20th of November 2019. In terms of astrology, today is a very important day because Mercury, the communication planet, goes direct, which is great news because communication and transportation is going to settle down and become much more reliable. Now, I'm going to use the mystery tarot deck again because I used this yesterday and you guys loved it. I loved it too. So I want to use the cards again and see what they have to say for Wednesday the 20th of November. I really hope you're having an amazing month so far. It's been really full on. Um, and unexpectedly joyous and um, insightful. Like, it's, yeah, I really realized things that I thought I already knew, but didn't. It's really amazing. So we've got Temperance, the Four of Crescents, and Crescents was Cups, wasn't it? Yeah, the Four of Cups. And then we have the Lovers, how fabulous. Okay, so we have two major arcana cards, Temperance and the Lovers, which are themes in life. We all have to go through the major arcana until we get to the end of the Fool's journey, where it begins with the Fool, then the Magician, and we end on the 21st card, the World. But we have to go through things like finding our own spiritual way and going to our own happy place and creating our own happy place it's about finding someone you love or something you love and connecting with that person or that thing and feeling supported and loved by the universe the four of crescents is usually a young man sitting under a tree and he's been he's got three cups there and he's been gifted with another cup and he is usually really, really ungrateful for what he's getting because the universe just gives him more and he's sitting there with his arms crossed, not willing to accept the gift that the universe is giving him. In this deck, we've got a mermaid, she's got a tail there. And she already has a cup, love. She is loved there, another cup there. But she's reaching for the biggest cup of all, the moon. She's reaching for the stars, literally. So what does this all mean together? Temperance, the 14th card of the Major Arcana, is an angel dipping its toe into the water and then a path illuminates, becomes apparent, and it includes your passion and desire. So let's say you start a new path in terms of knitting. Today you love knitting, so that's your passion. And you also use your intellect and your spiritual connection to see what you can do with that knitting. So for instance, this may be the first step of your own business, knitting your own clothes. The main thing about this is that there's balance in your life. From passion and emotion to thoughts and thinking and clarity and communication with Mercury direct, that is all very much in balance now. And the cards want us to know that the Mercury retrograde really, really is over now and that we have the opportunity to now start, to move forward again, to put everything we've got into getting to our happy place. Because we all, all of us in la life, we want things, don't we? we? We want to have a roof over our heads because we need it. We want love, not because we necessarily need it, but we feel that that should just happen or, we want things and you can manifest that happy place which we all want to go to and today can be the first day of that because 
you're not rejecting what the universe is giving you. You're not being ungrateful and just sitting in your feelings. You're reaching for the stars. You want even more love, more connection. And because of that, because you think so big, you're starting on a path which is really full of love and full of fulfillment. Full of fulfillment. Yikes. But that's what it is. It really makes you happy. So this leads because she has a much bigger perspective and she's open to love and she's open to receiving more watery, spiritual, profound energy, which she can then use to feel complete and so loved. That frequency or that desire that you're operating on today with the energy of I'm starting something new and I am broadening my horizons and I'm reaching for the stars. The sky is not even the limit. I'm going beyond. And that perspective allows you the six card of the major arcana. Six in numerology represents an opportunity. Five represents freedom. For stability. So by doing something new today, you can really create financial freedom, career freedom, because you love what you do and it uses your intellect, or you start the path on romance and relationship. And you really, you really meet someone you're passionate about physically, but who you also get on an intellectual, spiritual level. You just know each other. So be open, be receptive. The universe is giving you the opportunity to fall in love today and to start on a new path that takes you to your happy place. Keep your eyes and ears open. Maybe it's um, a new way of working that you fall in love with and it's a new software that's come out and you're like, oh, this makes everything so much better. I'm totally going to implement this. I'm going to accept it, receive it and put it in the office for all of the employees. And you're in love with the new system and your employees are also in love with the new system because it makes their job easier. Or you are at a um, retreat and you're meditating and you're a female and you come out of your meditation and suddenly there's a guy standing in front of you asking for the key or where reception is or whatever it may be. So it comes to you. The opportunity is there. You have to take a little bit of initiative because the angel is putting its toe in the pool, in the pond, isn't it? So... She's testing it out before she goes on the journey. And that's what you're doing. You're testing the waters. You're really receptive to all of the good things that can come out of the waters. And you're positive, you're optimistic, and you're looking to get somewhere in life where you feel like a star, where you feel nurtured and colorful and bright. And you've achieved all of the things that you want to achieve. So you can start on that new path today with Mercury on your side. So communication is on your side. Receive the emotional gifts that are offered to you today. Please don't reject them. Be like this mermaid and reach for the stars. Take the initiative. Don't sit there with your arms crossed and say, I've got enough good things in my life. I don't need any more friends. And you reject something that is beautiful and potentially a soulmate relationship or a kindred spirit that you would reject just because you're, what, too busy with your life? Don't be too busy to allow good things to come into your life when they come in. 
I mean, not every day is like this where the universe just gives you a present of love and spirituality and a way of understanding yourself and expanding and growing and getting to your happy place. The That here, the sunset, it's supposed to be a sunset and I'm sorry, but it looks like a, a breast to me as well. So that, you know, being nurtured by your mother, when your mother breastfeeds you, I mean, there's no more, it, it can't get much more intimate than that. And feeling nurtured and feeling completely dependent on someone else and being a baby and, you know, knowing nothing but love from your parent. It's going back to that place of purity, of emotional freedom, freedom in love, freedom to love, happiness, joy. That's what's over the rainbow. And we can all go over the rainbow by accepting the emotional gifts we're being given today. Even if it doesn't look the way we imagined, be open and receptive because love will come into your life today either as a person or as an activity or as a career or as information that you can consume or connect with or start working towards. It's a great day. You're becoming, you're going to be richer at the end of this day than you were beginning the day. And richer either in a financial sense or in an, in an emotional sense or in a social sense. It's a day of you being gifted. Number wise, numerology, 14 and 4 is 18. And 6 is 24. 2 and 4 is 6. And that's the ultimate vibration of the day. Six is a temporary opportunity, a window of opportunity that opens today and that shuts tomorrow. And because it's open today, all of the love and joy and serenity and peace of the universe is yours if you reach for it. And you then resonate at a certain frequency which brings your true love into your life. If you're in a relationship, you can really see each other and understand each other again. You can talk things out today. You can have a heart to heart. But if you're in a relationship, you could also today fall in love with chess and you join this chess club and you seize the opportunity to be a part of that. And that becomes a big part of your life, which you love. It could be anything because there are the infinite ways of how human beings can love. So there are infinite options here for you in terms of what you're going to fall in love with. So I'm really excited for this day. I'm looking forward to it. I hope that I receive love in a way that is positive for me. And I'm certainly going to continue hoping continue reaching for the stars and I will never give up in love because the universe is love. So giving up on love isn't even an option because we exist in love. This is love. This is love. The camera is love. This card is love. The air is love. It's so that it's not, you can't give up on love. It's not an option. <laughs> and today it bulldozes its way into your life to make you happy. So accept that, be grateful, and make the most of it. Don't be a spoiled brat, basically. And start again. Have a wonderful, lovely day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the Book Your Readings button now on the front page or the Shop tab. You can order your reading with me there. I do 15 minute, 30 minute, 45 minute and 60 minute readings. In my personal readings, I use astrology, tarot and numerology. I draw up your birth chart, your natal chart, using your place of birth, date of birth and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, that's no problem. You can order a chart rectification with me. That's a process where I work out your time of birth and then I can read your chart. The divination tools open a doorway for me into my 
intuition, the collective unconscious, the universe, whatever you want to call it. And I use that in my readings as well as these divination systems. So I can answer any question you have. If you are struggling with work or life purpose or you're interested in where you've been in past lifetimes or what's happening in love or what your destiny is when it comes to money or relationships with siblings. I can answer any question you have. So if you are interested or if you feel like you need some guidance, then please do get in touch via the website gregoryscott.com. If you like the video, then please hit the subscribe button and share this video online. That would be so awesome of you. I would love you forever and ever and ever. <laughs> if you could do that for me, that would be so helpful. I hope you do have a glorious Wednesday here and that you accept all the good that's coming your way. And I'll speak to you tomorrow.